Monkey 1000 and today we are going to do Shea Bear got himself a hammock today we got it so he's going to we're kind of going to do a review together on this and I'll help him put it together so stay tuned and we'll be right back Can you see that? Okay. Yep. All right. We're going to open this up. Bought this from Amazon. It was fifty-six. I got it right here. It's fifty-four seventy-one. Of course, it cost eight dollars in shipping. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to. Um, the reason why we're, we're just going to set set this up in the backyard. Just in case something's missing or something's broke, I'm not out there on that island. Right. With no cell service and no shelter. So. And I also want to try it out, see if I would like one. Yeah, cause because it, we might do a, you know, a campground one night and in, uh, in hammocks if yes. I can get into this. Okay, so. now, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what this is called. I can tell you it's not a brand name. It is called Camping Hammock with Mosquito Net and Rainfly Extra Large Portable Travel. That's like the name of it. I can't find the brand. Maybe it'll be on here. I don't know. Let's go ahead and pull this out. That's funny, isn't it? Usage of hammock. Okay, so we got this in here. Cool. It does come in a Ziploc. Yeah, she's filming too, so. Yeah. Alright. Now. So this must be the rain fly, I'm guessing. Maybe this one. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I would okay. think the thicker one would be so the hammock. It shows you how to go from tree to tree. Now, how far apart is your tree supposed to be? But, I just wonder. Um, I don't know. Hmm. I'm like I said. I've never set one of these up. That's a tent. This is a tent. So we also. <laughs> I could have used this, you know, when I was. Uh, oh, there's the nighttime thingies. I told oh you yeah, that. that's cool. I could have used this when I was doing my. I could sleep with those, and while you're watching TV, I, I can go to sleep. I could have used this when I was doing my uh, blindfolded break job. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it would have worked fine better than what I had because it kept pushing on my eyes. Yeah. So squint, my eyes closed real hard. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can't, you can't see anything like that. That's kind of nice. Ooh, let me try. It's blue. Yeah, it's blue. So, Blue for blue. And it's Belcor. A little so you can adjust to your size. Belcor. Yep, Belcor. <laughs> okay, so I believe that's what we say in our country. Belcor. Oh. Nice. Yeah, you here's, can. Yeah, it's not yeah, bad. This is the rain fly. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. So here's I the rain fly. You. Where are you? Here's okay. the the ties for the rain fly and the stakes. There's two different ways you can put this rain fly. We'll get into that once we set it up. So, um, it does have good reviews, but like I said, though, I don't see a name brand. A name, well, even, you know, if it was generic, this is your straps for, to put around your tree. Hmm. Like this. Paracore? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know it. I know it's not 550 pair of cord. But. Oh, of course not. They're not going to give you the most expensive. Okay, so. Okay, yes, I feel a carabiner in there. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're going to have to take this outside. The reason why we did the opening in here is because, as always, there's a neighbor down the street here doing some kind of work that they hadn't done all day long. Hmm. So, I don't know if they just got off work and 
decided to do something now or not, but like I said, I can't find it's just using hammocks can be risky. Use with utmost caution. Okay. Hammock to chair height, 12 to 18 inches from the ground. You can put it as high as you want. It's just like I heard somebody say one time, as high as you're willing to fall, because eventually you may fall out of one of these. Uh, it is made in China, but we got it today early. It wasn't supposed to be until tomorrow. We got it today because it came from Jacksonville, yep. Florida, mm -hmm. which is how, long, how far away? About two hours from About here. About two hours, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So it did come quick. Like I said, that's that's the name of it. Um, Camping hammock with mosquito net and rain fly XL, which is extra large. Portable travel. There's more. <laughs> okay, brand A E E T T. What the heck's that? It says brand A E E T T. Hmm. Large. It's camo on camo. Camping hammock with mosquito net and rain fly XL, portable travel hammock, bug net, camping equipment, hammock tent for outdoor hiking, camping, backpacking, travel, camo, camo, extra large. And that is no shit. That's exactly what it says, and that's not even the description. Huh. It is a four and a half out of five star on 91 reviews so that's pretty good um and i'll tell you what it costs yeah it okay it does say right there a e e t t it is 46.99 and eight dollars shipping to ship it so awesome all right so what you can get three colors well they was out of camo and army green for some reason but i could have got the army green and uh looks like a like an olive color but i got the camo on camo all right so anyway there's that out of the way let's go outside and see if we can't uh get this set up. Yay! I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, I want to see it. And like I said, um, maybe tentatively I'm going to plan to go to the uh, island, camp out on the island. Like I said, if I was missing something, it wouldn't have been a big deal. We're not supposed to get any rain or anything. Um, that would have been kind of made for a good video. Hmm. If something didn't come with it and I would have had to just make do with what I had, that would have been cool. But I don't like that when I'm doing a review. But, so, alright. We're going to figure out how, because this, this is all it gives you here. And it's pretty much just pictures. So, I mean, usage of the rope, usage of the hammock. And apparently you can also turn the hammock upside down if you don't want the net um, then the net will be on the bottom but I will be using the net yeah I would assume there's lots of mosquitoes where you're going to be at so yeah yeah so but you could just use it during the day if they, you'd want it to you could flip it around and yep. didn't need it all right so we're going to go outside and we're going to get you guys set up on well you're on your tripods but We'll get you guys set up. Yep. And we're going to we'll see how it works. Try to get this thing set up. So hang tight, guys. Yep. We'll be back.
set this up. It's kind of confusing. This is your directions right here. Okay, that's what we're dealing with. And you know, it's it's not just the pair. The chords that they gave you don't work very well because. He said, if you pull on these cords as your weight gets on there, it's going to pull them so tight you're not going to be able to get them off and you're going to have to cut it. So that means it's going to be shorter than what you had. So he's having some problems. So this is what we got right now. This is what he's trying to do here. And by this picture right here with the fly thing, it's like it's supposed to be spread apart. Well, these are kind of like close together. So these pictures don't work. And uh, so he ended up, he had to use his straps again, as you can see the straps right there at each end. He said that would be much safer than using those cords that they gave you. And it, it's really kind of confusing and stupid. So they need to come up with better directions and better language because they act like in some of these phrases that they don't know how to speak English and they just try to put words together. Um, I don't know why, but that's the way it seems to be. So anyways, he's going to put his other stuff up and we'll come back and, and so you can see some more. But he's, yeah, so that's the way it looks like so far. So he's going to lower, he's, he said it was too high, so he's going to put it up lower for him. So we'll be back. All right, I'm recording. Okay, guys, here's Monkey. There's her setup there. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. Wireless mics, I can't use mine because of my clip thingy. Broke. So it's gone off, and I can't find my 37 other mics. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, this is what we did, okay? Now, this is a true, honest to goodness review because you're going to run into situations like this, right, Monk? Yeah. Okay, so I already explained this. All right, this is what I had to do here. I may have to flip that uh, so that it come out on me. Okay, but mm -hmm. now these straps here, they're fine, okay? They will work just fine, in all fairness. If your trees are far enough apart, I got the extra large, and my trees are just not far enough apart, they should have been probably at least another foot on each side at least mm -hmm. so in all fairness but see again if you, once you get farther apart you're gonna need more of this for your for your ridge line for your net right which you're not gonna have which is going down and through yeah, there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you're not going to have that once you get them farther apart. Right. Especially if you use a tree this side. Mm -hmm. So, in an all honest to goodness review, this is what you might run into, okay? So, I suggest bringing some old straps. Now, you can use those and tie them into a knot. They're just a pain to get untied if you can get them untied. Right. If you can't, you'll have to cut them. And, and then you have here, to buy a new one. And on here, since since my trees aren't quite far enough apart, I ran my own ridge line and I just did that. Okay? And I tied that corner, sorry, that corner <laughs> over there onto a little tree. I put that in a stake in the ground and this one back here in a stake in the ground. And these two stakes in the ground. And this one I just tied to this tree here. So always bring extra cordage. And stakes. Yeah. Well, I didn't use the stakes that came with it. No, you didn't. So, but Big yeah, always bring extra stakes. But if you're out in the woods, you got a knife, you can always make stakes. Yeah. You know? Mm hmm But, so there it is. I think it was kind of difficult, but. Well, you're not, remember, here we go again. If, you know, if you go to a different place to camp, you, you might run into trees that are like this. Right. Nice, good trees, but they're not far enough apart. Mm hmm You may run into a couple trees that are too far apart, and you may have to add cordage. Right. So just bear that in mind that in a, in a reality situation, this is true reality, you're going, you may run into some issues, but just, you know, it's no big deal. 
just tie some knots and some string or rope I shouldn't say string but tie some rope on there make your ridge line whatever you got to do okay? right so and and you'll you'll get by but don't like some of them guys you just see them going out and looking up at the trees yeah these three are working it's just fit perfectly for some reason they probably yeah. sat there before yeah well i've never set one of these hammocks this style hammock here before no yeah uh, we got the other hammock monkey's hammock All right we tied up here which was fine but this is bigger than that and it's how we use these too we didn't have anything so we used these well yeah it didn't come with anything yeah that's why we use those but i used these ones just because i didn't want to now if the trees were farther apart them other straps will work mm -hmm. they'll they will tighten down once you get in it they it's not gonna fall on you they're not gonna break right also i read the reviews they have some great reviews but there's always a couple idiots like one guy was complaining it leaked he got soaking wet it's a good thing he was in his backyard because one o'clock in the morning he was soaking wet wow well I'll tell you why because you got to waterproof this stuff guys right anytime you're re reading reviews on a tent and they say it leaks yeah it's going to right because you have to waterproof that get that scotch guard and spray on there and you know like up here at the top there you know it don't have the seal tape we'll mm -hmm. just run you some some Vaseline down through there that's all you got to do man just run you some Vaseline down through there on the, any scene that may leak which would be right there mm -hmm. and it's going to be it's going to be all right now i i haven't i haven't water sealed this yet but i'm going to before you do your before trip. i take it out yeah mm -hmm. for my trip yeah which tentatively mm -hmm. would be next weekend your solo trip my solo trip but this will just be solo tonight right. which i will film that that'll be another video this is just are we spending the night tonight in there we no you yeah i am oh okay oh, you're saying we because i'm always saying we on the camera right well i thought i didn't know you were spending the night in there tonight yeah oh okay i, I gotta give it a good review well you need to go sit in there and see how or well a bad review whatever you know and get yourself in there and i'll film I mean, it a fair review i should say right. go, oh he's got to give it a good review no, I no think i'll it's... tell you if it sucks it sucks but so yeah so why don't you get in there and i'll so film anyway, you i'm going to get in there and i'll show you what it looks like yeah and then we'll call this video done hey guys i'm inside the tent now so you guys can kind of get an idea and this is what it looks like from up here there's the rain fly thingy yeah okay, guys. and i see yeah this is pretty cool Oh, yeah, I can do this. I was surprised I could do this. <coughs> well, if yeah. you like it, we'll get you one, too. Yeah, or I'll keep this one for me, and then you can get the one with the bar on it, if you rather. Yeah, I'd rather have one with the bar on it. Yeah, because I, and then that way you get what you like, because, you know, you need to be well, comfortable. Well, I'll sleep in it tonight, and we'll see, but. Yeah, and yeah. it's got a little pocket here. Put your stuff in here. I don't here. spend a lot of time in my tents anyway, unless it's raining. Right. If it rains for a weekend, yeah, I may there. be stuck in here. Hey, here and, I am. You know, I want to be comfortable. Pretty so. cool. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm having man. fun. I might spend the night out here too one night. <laughs> for now. But then I get scared of the spooky the things. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Don't Yay. Bye bye, guys, and take care. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyways, Monkey Switch is out for now, y'all. Y'all have a great weekend, and uh, happy Mother's Day, everyone. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. So, yeah, I like it. At least I got in it and didn't fall. Well, that was my fear, but, no, I did, I did well. <laughs> yeah, good job. So, anyways, I'm out for now. Monkey says bye. Have a great weekend. Bye, y'all.